Among those attending a recent Ladies European Tour media event in southwest London was Mel Reed. A four-time winner on the LET and a golfing world ambassador, Mel told us about what's been happening in her game over the last few months. I kind of felt I worked hard in the off-season. Um, I've, I've actually now changed coach probably in the last six weeks to um, Kevin Craggs in Scotland, um, which I'm, you know, more than happy with. He's, he's awesome and, you know, I really feel like it's, uh, you know, it's got my motivation back and it's, you know, I'm definitely in a direction now which I'm a lot happier with. I've changed the backswing quite a bit, um, therefore it's just easy for me to get in a good impact position. Um, you know, it's just the same things that I've been trying to work on, but he's he's just said it in maybe a slightly different way. And, you know, I think that we've just, you know, the connection we've had has, has been probably better than I better than I expected. I've been working probably the hardest I've, I've worked in the last few weeks, and, um, you know, not just in my golf, but on other sides of stuff, fitness and things like that. So, um, yeah, everything's going in the right direction again. These days, most touring pros take their fitness seriously, and Mel is very much into her physical conditioning. I've always wanted to keep fit, and um, so I work very close with my trainer, John Woods, at St George's Park, um, which is a great, I mean, it's the best, one of the best facilities I've ever used, um, period, in the world. So it's, uh, you know, it's just a good atmosphere there, and it's, it's a good vibe, and, you know, I just think that it's, I think it's important to feel good, and, um, you know, we kind of incorporate other sports into, into my training, and, um, but yeah, I mean, for me personally, I think it's huge. I think it's huge for me mentally, and obviously physically as well. At the LET event, Mel was asked to take part in a Q&A session with some of the junior golfers there, explaining to them how important the early years are for the development of a young golfer. So actually, when you do all that, it does take up quite a lot of time. You know, one of the benefits I had growing up was there was a, a quite a big junior section and majority of them were boys. So I grew up playing with, with boys all the time and, you know, I feel that boys have a lot more imagination and, um, you know, a lot more creativity and they, they try and hit it as far as they want. and. That was awesome for me because, you know, I tried to compete against them all the time and it, it challenged me all the time and, and kept it, you know, really, really playful. That's probably the biggest advice I can give is just, you know, get a really good set of friends at the golf club and then you look forward to going and seeing your mates and, and playing with your friends and messing around, really. With the 2015 Solheim Cup fast approaching, the European team captain was recently announced and in Sweden's Karin Koch, an experienced Solheim player herself, Mel reckons they've made a great choice. I think Karen's awesome. Yeah, she's lovely, lovely lady. Um, you know, she's going to have a really good connection with players, and obviously she's been there before. She understands what it's about. Um, she's obviously got you know good vice captains as well behind her, and you know she's just a lovely, lovely girl, and she's obviously a fighter as well. So I think that was a really, really good choice. Yeah. Being part of a Solheim Cup team is, of course, a great honour, and one which Mel got to experience in 2011 as a member of the winning European side at Colleen Castle in Ireland. It's a week which she still looks back on from time to time and which brings back fond memories. It's just, you know, the banter, the, the camaraderie between the team, you know, everyone's in there to help each other, you know, when we're playing in a very selfish individual sport. Um, which is quite odd because I would say I'm very opposite to that. I've always played team sports growing up and, you know, it is something that I do miss. Um, and so for me, it was just amazing to be back in that kind of atmosphere again where everyone's rooting for you, you know, everybody's trying to help you and, you know, they're not really competing against you. They're obviously trying to, you know, trying to help you along. So um, it was, it's just an awesome experience and, you know, I don't really think you can describe it as well unless you've actually, you know, kind of experienced it yourself. And here's to Mel making the 2015 team in Germany.